This week on Will It Shoe, we're being taken to court. The basketball court, that is. We're gonna have a go at making the ultimate basketball trainer by having to bash a pair of high tops with a basketball. James Naismith was a 31-year-old student when he invented the sport as a safer alternative to American football and also a way to keep athletes indoors in winter. The game became established really quickly and grew in popularity as the 20th century progressed, first in America and then all over the world. The sport is now a multi-billion dollar enterprise and is seen as much a part of American culture as apple pie, a dessert which was actually invented here in the UK. Sometimes made of leather, but more often found in rubber nowadays, the basketball is made up of an inflatable inner and an outer surface ball. We've got a couple of classic orange ones and a little black one to throw into the mix too. This will be our third go at a rubber shoe after the questionably successful Halloween episode and the huge failure that was the Lego mats. So it will be interesting to see how this one goes, but as the balls are designed to be hard wearing and giving, being bounced around a court all day, there is some hope. Wow, that's heavy. Crikey. <laughs> oh dear God, no. Ah, they still have the lasts inside. That is why they're so heavy. <laughs> I was very confused for a moment. <sighs> I don't think rubber's the one, is it? I don't think we're ever gonna make rubber shoes. Not enough give, surprisingly. 
That is really surprising because you'd think the ball would have a bit more give, but that is just... I kind of knew these weren't going to happen. I mean, let's be honest, did anyone want them to happen? I, th I think the big issue is because the balls are designed to go back to the same shape after deforming every time they bounce, there was just no way to last it. It just kept pulling back into a ah, ball shape. That is really interesting. I've never thought of that. I'd have always just thought the lasting process held them to where they needed to be, but yeah. That wasn't to be. The team in the workshop really, really roll their eyes when things like this go down there. I think they know already that it's not gonna work. Um, but you know, we're not afraid of wasting their time in the pursuit of entertainment. So one thing I do think is that obviously like vintage basketballs, are they leather? Like were original ones leather? No, I think the, the, the vulcanized rubber is what gave birth to the the sport. Right. So being able to have that bounce. Okay, so, well that completely throws my theory out, because I'm thinking of like vintage footballs or rugby balls which were leather, which would be a lot more interesting to me as a not sports fan, but shoe fan. So if we could find some vintage, damaged, unusable old balls, then that could be worth a shot at another sports shoe. Because I would love to see the concept work, but this one hasn't. It has not shooed. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.